So yes, we're at the Royal Haslar Military Hospital today and there's lots of interesting stuff here. It's been smashed about, that's an old uh, prison in the distance. But uh, yeah, sorry, thanks. Uh, we've got somebody who doesn't want to be filmed today, so if, if uh, I film him by accident, I'm going to have to blur him out. So if you see me doing awkward, weird shots, it's because of that. But yeah, not a very good, uh, not a very good job, is it? Bloody hell. But yeah, some bits you can't get in. But I understand it's all going to get knocked down or turned into flats. So. Flats with the biggest car parks you've ever seen in your life. But, uh, ah, is that something that's open? Look, up in the corner there's some steps there into a building and then it looks like it's open. I think if we go around there we can probably get around the edge. Because that might be inside the... Is that inside the Harris or not? I don't know if it's worth going in that way or, or let's just see if this is inside or outside or is it inside the Harris fence. So we need to kind of sneak into the Harris fence. And see if we can get in. So all of this is my uh, <laughs> video that I did because, oh, well, the doors are open anyway, so why, why sneak around when you can just go straight? Oh my God, look at all the equipment in here. Look at this. this. This is the classic sort of, this is what you want to see when you go in a hospital type light. Do one of those on my car, really. Be all right, see down the road a bit, wouldn't you? Wow. So this is an old military hospital. You don't get much more older and military than this. Toilet and a waiting room. Wow. I like that light. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to. If I accidentally film you, I will take it out. I promise. Scout's on her. Oh, it's an old uh, chalkboard. Chalkboard from school. Oh. Oh. Hmm. So this, this site is actually massive, and I think it's quite likely that we won't be able to get around it, all of it today because it is so immense. There's just no way we're gonna be able to do it. So, oops, uh, yeah. But some of the buildings are really big. You've got like three or four floors and you've got large uh, new complexes built. Look at this for a classic dispensing window or a, like a little spy window. Keep an eye on what's going on. Spy on you. It's quite amazing, isn't it? Little spy on you room. Whoa. Special for hospitals. You wouldn't see that in many places. This is a uh, Hannah Lux Melbourne. Hannah Lux Melbourne light. Oh, they're actually 
plexiglass. I thought it'd be glass. Just plexi. So I think we could be coming back and forth to this place five or six times, and we'd still have stuff to look at. Upstairs. These buildings are quite uh, quite interesting. There's quite a few windows broken in the upper panes over there. But like, where does this go then? into a loft space. Uh, pigeons. And this comes out across a nice little uh, area where you've got, what's this? Toilets or something? It's just a little cupboard. What's the purpose of having something like this? We've got a better view of it now. So there we are, we've got the, the prison is out over there. We've got a lot more of the hospitals out over here. There's a clock tower over there. So it'd be nice if it's done out as flats, but it just makes you think, you know, it's going to be such a large open space for flats. You know, putting them in these old buildings is going to cost a bloody fortune, really. What have we got here then? Is this open? Oh yeah, it's open. It's open. Hospital Works and Fire Office Inquiries. Wow. This place is like Ghost Central. Wow. Another little hatchway to kind of look at what people are up to. Oh, it's another one of those. It's another curved hatchway. Mm. B3 Ward. Make sure the floors are okay. And they seem quite, seem quite solid in this place. It's a classic old hospital, this one. Wow. Toilets and showers. How do you get downstairs from up here? way in for outside. There's uh, just a little sort of cosy room. Just trying to work out there's uh, there's the other chap. Just won't film him now as he comes in. It's alright, I'm not I'm not pointing in your direction. Alright, it's quite mad this place isn't it? Yeah. It's got that sort of air of real old Musty, stinky hospital. Follow the medicine's code. Use them properly, keep them safely. <clears throat> yeah, like, you know, what, what, what would normally people, without that sign, people would be like, I don't wish to use them properly, and why do I have to keep them safely? You know, why? So, yeah. But there is no stairs down. Um, seems like this is, this is it. Or am I imagining, hang on, it might be some way in here to go down. That's toilets again. Toilets, look at this. God, it's manky. That's proper manky. God, this place will come alive with ghosts at night, I'm sure. This is real. This is a real funky, weird location. So, yeah. Let's get back out. And, uh, this is the way up upstairs and downstairs. There is no stairs. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? But, yeah. Hang on. That's their Christmas decoration look. 
Star of David Christmas decoration. Look, see we're not really meant to be here, look. MOD property, no admittance to unauthorised persons. Ooh, monitor. Micro touch. So it's like a touch, it might even be an old touch screen. Micro touch. So we can get into this building over here then. So we've got to be careful because down there is a walk along the seafront so everybody can see in what you're up to. But the top bit of the fence has been removed so you could just jump over the fence. It's very easy to get in here. Ah, more open places. Looks like kids. Oh, we can't go in here. Look, folks, because there's look, it's a bit of wire. Oh. I know, I'll go under the wire. Look at this manky old thing for kids. Like manky as hell. It's like third world, third world conditions. It's like children's, children's ward in here. It looks scary to adults. I don't know if kids quite see it the same way. I think they're kind of excited by crap, aren't they, kids? But yeah. So look at it. look at the state in the ceilings. That's proper mank. Proper mank. Proper mank. See what I mean about people going for a walk, look? So you got to watch them. You've got to watch these people. Make sure you don't start, like, ringing the fuzz skis on you. But, yeah. Toilets. Toilets and showers in the ends. A bit more light in these ones, for some reason. Maybe they boarded, boarded up the windows upstairs. Drawers here for documents. Documents. Let the fire blanket's gone. Yeah, yeah, the fire blanket's gone. Oh, it's all right. Didn't realise you were in there. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a little uh, glass corridors keep you out of the wind. Upstairs. I'm thinking I'm going to just walk on to one of the bigger, bigger parts of the hospital. It might be, uh, might be in order. So that looks like a newer building there. Kept slightly better. I get the feeling we might be on the back of the base here. On the back of this hospital section. So I don't know uh, if there'll be cameras around the place at some point. So uh, look at this, it's quite cute isn't it? Little uh, little seating area, you can go up the steps like. There's grass rollers and things over there so I can, I can easily imagine there are cameras and stuff around here. So here's the building we've just been in. So I don't know if we've got uh, Security, so it goes all the way down there. Imagine the security blocks in there. This is a massive site. I mean, you know, look at the look at the distances involved here. Look at all that set of buildings there, all the way down there to that wing, and then it goes back about eight, nine, ten levels, perhaps over there. It's absolutely crazy. I'll wait for Matey to come out before we go into the next bit. Now these looks like these buildings look like they've done been done out as flats, but they haven't been finished. Cause look, 
they've got uh, all their bits like the oven ovens and things in there so they are definitely doing some bits in here but uh, you know they probably won't let people start moving into these until a lot of the, the this place is done but uh, we need to get in some of the bits that haven't been done which look like all that looks like it still hasn't been done and the main sections haven't been done so fingers crossed and they've, they've actually put uh, concrete down here so they've made a walkway look an orange walkway so they are doing some work here Just got fingers crossed we don't get spotted by the security though night time is definitely the best place for best time to get in this place she's gone upstairs so let's go and have a look as well then might as well for the hell of it hmm. so all these uh, bits of metal have to be replaced makes you think had they been looked after you could still have left the originals in here, but of course when you have 30 years of just leaving it rot then you're going to have to replace probably 50% of it. There's a female toilet there, look. God, you can smell the gym poo the moment you get up here. Pigeon poo. Is that... Uh, Unmistakable odour. Quiet, please. Mm. Pigeon poop. And black shutters to darken things down during the daytime. Little, uh, little observation areas. Observation rooms, slidey tint, tinty windows. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go on that way. So, uh, Hasla Bosom Buddies. Bosom Buddies. Hasla Bosom Buddies. That's where you go if you want to get your bosom in some, if you want to get your head into some bosom. Look, police over there, look. Police boat. Come get us, copper. Police boat. A police boat? Police boat, yeah. No, I don't know that. Oh, yeah, well, they could always, like, ram it up on the shore and, like, come screaming out at us, I suppose, but... Yeah. So how are you about your voice being on? You all right with your voice? Voice is okay. Oh, here we go, look. Somebody's been writing on the board. Minge, Fat Panda, Harris and Nick. I don't mind graffiti as long as it's on like a chalkboard so you can just wipe it off. Yeah, I'd... Urbexes have been in. Yeah. See if there's any Urbexes have been then, yeah. 1916. Yeah. What's up? Reese. I ain't got any stickers, so. Yeah. But look, Lisa, they haven't been sprayed on the walls, which is amazing. I mean, like, how can you find... Oh, they have right, been writing a little bit, but... I mean, they've been treating it with respect. Yeah. What's all that about? Wales and Monmouth. And it all looks like he's scribbled out or something. That's bizarre. Hmm. So we have to do a mad dash across there. To see if we can get across without being seen. Well, they're gonna, all they can do is kick us out, so. We don't care. Oh, that's interesting. There's like. Uh, is that into like water container or something? Or maybe something in there? There's usually not something in those things. I've thought this many times over the years and bothered to open them up and there's nothing there. But uh, on old sites like this, you, you do sometimes have underground underground passageways for the pipe works and whatnot. Oh, yeah, the problem is linking up probably 
Yeah, because they used to run pipes from building to building, so they'd have one central um, heat heat place, uh, heat block, and they'd pump it all around, all around the inside. So let's see if we can get somewhere. Now all these bits over here look new. They've been doing these out, so these are all new. So this is 1910 on there. What we really probably need to do. There's lots of cars over there as well. I wonder if some people are living in those bits already. I think they're living in those bits already over there. So if you know how to get in here, you may already be living there. Oh yeah, there's a bell tower up on there. I can hear noises from way off up there. Probably a random work van. As long as they don't drive around, we'll be all right. I wonder if we can get in any of these buildings. Like they're doing work on all of this down here. God, it's a lot of junk being piled up over there. That's got a lock on it. So we can get in there. Wonder where all the like secret security cameras are. If they've got any. <laughs> it's a shame, isn't it? Wonder if we can get in through this uh, piece of Harris fencing around here that looks like it's blocking an entrance. Ooh. Sort of. Get into the middle section. Yeah. I reckon there's got to be a window open up there on the scaffold somewhere. How are you with climbing? Uh, I think I'm okay, but I'm not as good as right here. Uh, oh, Dylan. I don't think there are many are that are as good as Dylan, to be honest. He's a, he's a bit of a special case, isn't he? So. Should we park scaffolding? Well, if we can see a window open that makes it worth it, might be worth it. Or just for the view. Just for the view. It doesn't go to the roof on that side. Oh, doesn't it? No. Maybe it does on one of the others. Yeah, a bit further down it does. Look, it was higher. Next section. So these ones don't go to the roof. So they only go up to the upper windows. But the next section does go to the roof. So they've put all the scaffold on there, but they're not really doing any work inside these ones yet. They're still left behind and they're just basic blank inside. So, ooh, look at that. Cool, that goes down, oh my God. Wow. Oh, that goes down, not just one floor, that goes down like about 30, 40 feet. Hang on, have a look at this, folks. Have a look at this, don't you? Oh, wow. That's Whoa. Tunnel. What the hell is at the bottom? It's like something to lift up, isn't it? It's a tunnel, but I don't, it looks like it's, you'd have to crawl through it. Mm -hmm. spiders. It's actually got... Um, it's got, like, uh, little things on the side, look. It's got uh, stuff so you can climb down. What do you call them? Uh, ladders, like side ladder things. And then it goes to, the, to a tunnel underneath. You can see that there's a tunnel at the bottom. That's interesting. I think that thing that was down there was to stop flooding. If it, if it floods and the water gets in, it'll pump the water out of it. Oh, if you go a bit further down, look, there's a ladder. Okay. He wasn't kidding then, he is like, um, he is like, uh, Dylan. Okay, well, when in Rome, hey, folks. What's happened to my uh, controller thing? It's being a bit shitty. There we are, it's working now. There's like an under underground over there, look, and they've knocked they've knocked the uh, thing down. You can see the pipes underground. 
we might be going underground in a bit then this place looks mental though there's a lot to see here The um, bell is still going over here. Unless that's, unless that's him. Fucking around with it. Hmm, there he is. Up to no good. Oops, I'm not supposed to film him, am I? From behind. No face. We'll be alright from behind, no face. There he goes. Is he going to try and get from there to over there and across? <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this. You could get from there across the lead flashing and across and we could get inside the buildings as well. We could actually get in. The upper windows are open. So I'll stop filming for a minute, so, uh, oh, shall I? I don't know. If he goes down the other side, then I can film, because I don't want to film film his face. Are you going down? Because if, if you keep going along, you can get across that flashing and onto the other building. Okay. So, so I'm pointing down, you're right. When he gets out of the way, as he's nearly done, there he is, he's gone. I'll show you our ascent. Look at that. Bloody hell. Can't for a building. It's crazy. Oh, this bloody, this place is crazy. Look at all those buildings over there. They go up quite high as well. Maybe they've got a cinema in here and stuff. Maybe they've got all sorts of stuff like that. Mad. Yeah, it's much easier with a small camera because I can just... I'm sorry, I'm pointing down at my feet at the moment. Because, uh, you're going to get over there? Yeah. You're not going to do anything on it, is it? Uh, no, no. I, I blur people's faces out and do all sorts of stuff. So, uh, which way are we trying to get to? Uh, well, we can get over there, then we can get over there, then we can come down that side if you want. <laughs> there he goes. So... <sighs> Oh, which way are you going? Which way are you going? I was going to say, I didn't think there was a way there. You just point, he's just taking photos of his legs. 
No, he's, he's a... He's a mad lad. Arnold Robinson 1980 something so he's on the side <coughs> oh yes this is the view. This is the view we want, look. This is the view we want. Look all these underground, underground bits here. And shit. Underground pipe works, and look how big it is. Look how big it is. It's massive. It's bloody massive. Well, that's the bit we've got to avoid, because that's the, that's where security guards are. And they got a camera point over there as well. As long as we stay over this side, we should be all right. Let's do it. I should do. I should nuts, nuts for you back by there. God, I wish I left my ready coat off now. Too hot. I might take it off. Right. So this is um, where you get to see me uh, take my coat off. You're gonna enjoy this. Do da 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 He's looking at me like I'm a lunatic. Yeah. Da da. I don't. I don't actually do this a lot of my videos, but da 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 da. Da, 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 da. And that's all you're getting. So, if the boat's being transported in your car, which is how you do it, no cars. On, let's get back. I saw the cars for the city. They have to lift the cart by a crane and put it on the boat. Ah. There's no cars. Cars can't drive on enough. Right. So, are the cars on the city Isles? I got you. Yeah. So. um what you're saying then is, would it go in your hand luggage, your boat? I don't know, I'd have to drive up and lift up different bits of the boat into the cargo bit of the ferry. Ah. I think they might allow it, I'd probably have to email and arrange it in advance. Well, yeah, yeah. But, um, well, it's adventurous. Like, maybe you get away with that, um, you definitely get away with that on the Isle of um, Wight. Oh, look, there's a window open here. Do you want to go in? Invest, investigate indoors? Yes. Now, by, by, by uh, uh, just everybody who says that we always break in, as you've seen, we've been walking for about an hour <laughs> before we actually managed to get in uh, over here. So, no, we don't break in. We usually don't have to, but, uh, wow. It's more modern, this place inside. It's got phones. Phone stuff. Oh, nice. Nice uh, stairs. Whoa. They always freak me out, stairs like this, because it's so big, they just make me feel like spooked out just when you see like downstairs, like that. There's a kid that's up in from the bottom. Oh, God, yeah. No security, that's good. I'm like, sorry, if you ain't already, it's a little staircase, it's clearly back up. Oh. It's a long Yeah. I don't know, this one's got a small staircase, I don't know if it... Oh, it's bent as well, look at these stairs, it's all wonky, like as if it's falling apart. Ooh. Spooky stairs, and it's a spooky, spooky ceiling bit. These stairs are falling away. 
a bit. So, ooh, yeah. This is the F block. This is where they send you if you've been naughty. It's got all the uh, all the service bits in it. Look, cell cell block F. Whoa, it's the gods. Whoa, hang on, hang on. There's a um, I don't know if they, these are on, but there is definitely a, an alarm sensor pointing that way. There, and it looks fairly modern as well, but I don't know if it's on. I can't tell if that's from the building. That's from. I actually cannot tell if that's from when the building was in use. Is that from when it was abandoned? I think that's from when it was in use. Do you think it's doable? Uh, could try it. I'm in front of it now. <laughs> Hello. Nah, it's not working. Yeah. You just got to know that there's no power into these buildings, and that's probably what that means. So. Yeah, look, mains, battery, standby, all the lights are off, look. Yeah, we're all right. Why do they want to know whether people are up here, then? Maybe if because they were mental patients, they didn't want them, like, locked or trapped up in this pit, perhaps. But, yeah, you've got to live a little and set some alarms off in your life. I'll self loads. <laughs> Nice catwalks. Better quality than the stairs we just walked up, which looked like it was going to fall down. Ooh, this looks interesting. Ah, more water, water containers. Bit of air ventilation, and then another dodgy stairs, which has got bits coming off it. So, stairs of death, stairs of doom. Stairs of Doom. Oh, hello. Well, here we go. It's gonna make us walk all the way back now. Oh, these stairs are creaky. Stairs are creaky, but they're like. I'll just see your feet when you go on it. Come on. Ready? Oh, yeah. Whoa! It, it bowed. It was like crunchy wood. <laughs> Whoa! This looks good. I like it. I like it. It's a proper hospital feel. Yeah, I'll have some. Wow. Bit late now, isn't it? Bit late if it does. Wow, big old rooms. God, these are massive. So that's what that um, lead that we walked across was from this building into that building. Wow. All their building materials out there, look. Big old rooms. Oh yeah, nice stairs. We'll have some of that, thank you very much. Hitch, 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 hitch. It's like, I swear I got out here somehow. You did, Mr. Pidge. Now, are these safe? Ooh. Bit, bit squeaky. Bit squeaky, but I think if they were dangerous, they probably would have uh, marked them not to be walked on, I'm guessing. It's very nice and airy in this place, unlike the one at uh, Farnborough, the Cambridge Royal Military Hospital, which was very dark and oppressive. This is all light and airy and open and quite nice. So 
yeah, you can't can't fault the stairs on this. It's uh, quite good. But then you see Farnborough had stone stairs, which made you feel more confident walking down them. So this has got dodgy stairs, but nicer rooms. Ooh, we're we gonna have like alarms on uh, alarm sensors on floor one. <laughs> yeah, because I usually put them on floor one. So let's just keep an eye out, see if we can spot any. Hmm. Hmm. Don't look like there's many sensors in here, so we might. This place might be good. Might be good to go. This place for explorers, future explorers. Right. So. The big question is, do we, or do we not, have a way out? What's in the basement? Is there a basement? Yeah. Well, look, look, hang on. Oh, it's got bloody things on it. All oh, right, it's going to look in the basement then. Oops. Yeah, trying not to get your face on the thing. Just put your back, you're lucky. Oh, this is a bit, uh, bit, the wonky stair, wait, look, stairs wrong with it. Dodgy one. Oh, hang on. Can you do it again? That's it. Yeah. So it's like wobbly stairs of doom into the basement of terror. Wow. This is where the asbestos is kept. <laughs> That's where they keep it all. Special uh, containers full of it. Ooh. Yeah, nice. Yeah. We need to have a look at what's like more pipe. Hmm. Something that's disgusting. No, I said maybe more fuck. No, it's best though. I'm disappointed. Mm, bit of a dead end. It's got a thermometer stuck on. Like as if it's a switch or a pulley, but it's actually just a thermometer. I know, I find it better. Mmm. Oh. Lush. I was feeling hungry, so. That is, yeah, that's the best stuff. <laughs> Don't touch it. I mean, I've been breathing in asbestos for years and I'm not dead yet. You may not do. Yeah. This would be the, uh, the cells where they like hide all the naughty, naughty people. Is that a way out? It is indeed a way out. <laughs> cool. This goes down into little chambers. Not from building to building, it seems. Don't know if you noticed out in the, the courtyard area, there are large drop downs where they've taken the roof off, and you can see all the pipes underneath. So we're gonna we're probably gonna head up that way now. Whoops, easy. Spiders, spider webs. Ugh. So back out in the courtyard area but here's the here's the tunnels I was saying about because this stuff goes way off you can see look at look at from here to there and all these pipes possibly people wouldn't have ever realized they were there do you want to see if we can get from here to there underground it's got to be done isn't it I reckon How to get down without cutting your, cutting your legs open on crap. This would be a great way to like escape from the uh, security guys because you just drop down in here and they won't have a clue where you are then. You get from one side of the uh, hospital to the other in secrecy, if, if you can.
if it does go that way. Ah. Looks like there's um, areas that, that uh, collect the rainwater, like a sluice. Funny place for a motor motorcycle wheel, but it takes all sorts, doesn't it? Right, here we go. How far does this go? Oh, it goes. Oh, yes, it definitely goes. And there's even drains. The trick here is to just not get your head banged on these pipes. Look at all these pipeways. It's immense. It's absolutely immense. And it looks like this was built fairly recently. So what they probably did is they took an original uh, parkway or grass area and they just dug it all away did all the work in front of the hospital with this stuff and then put probably park and greenery back on top to make it look good but um, I think they call it cut cut and cover they cut it all away build it up and then cover it back on top look at that, that goes down quite a distance feels like something of a sci-fi movie It's amazing, isn't it? I love it. There's another walkway down and out there. Way out to upstairs. distance this isn't it oh, yeah. I think they must have done this like they cut cut off the top and covered it you know cut and cover technique because this is all fairly modern isn't it yeah like they, they took a, a park out above probably cut a park away yeah. dug down built all this and then put a park back on top or a car park even. That might have been a car park in the middle, perhaps. Maybe it was a multi-story car park or something. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Oh. Danger lift machinery, mate. Danger lift machinery. Oh yes, hydraulic. You smell, smell the hydraulic fluid. Two lifts to the main building. Beringer. Not that old, but it's that. No. Go on, I won't film you. You're right. Hmm? Uh, disgusting. Yeah, it looks manky. Uh, things I do to find the logics. Let's have a look. <laughs>
that was an emergency exit. Look, they've covered it up. See which way I've gone. Yeah, we got it. it. Does seem to go on a bit down here. I'm not not sure how far, but it definitely goes. It's a touch button to open the door. Look, touch. Ooh, I think this goes into the basement of the building. Yeah, we've definitely got. Oh dear. I think this is the basement of the building. Definitely in the basement. And there are steps to go upstairs in this building as well. So you can get up the stairs to get inside the building. You just gotta watch your head down here. Yeah? Make sure you don't bang your head. Ooh, fire door. Strictly out of bounds. Oh, we like strictly out of bounds. Oh, it's been blocked. Strictly out of bounds has been blocked by the uh, fun Nazis. F3 cellar. Ooh, keeps on going. <laughs> this place is quite interesting, isn't it? Wow. Wow. Ooh, electric. Oh, yeah. Main intake switch. Yeah, they've cut all the wires. Yeah, oh, there's a way out. We like ways out. Is it real though? Oh, into another area. This, this place is a proper labyrinth. Dry riser. This place is a complete labyrinth. Yeah, and it goes down that way, and then there's a way out. It goes into a main corridor, like as if we're in a, like a super-sized corridor for the building. So, we've got down here. Still underground, by the way. Mm -hmm. Closed. Well, I think it's probably the end. This is the end of the building then. We've got some nitrogen, is it? Nitrogen canisters. Oh no, it's oxygen. oxygen. Yeah, black and white. I think the white means oxygen and the black means nitrogen. So when you have a nitrogen oxygen mix, that's called air. These look like. Uh, I'm guessing these are generators or possibly <coughs> air conditioning. Pumps. Pump starter, yeah. Gases pull the wards. Ah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, C block. There's another. Another door. Fire door. Oh yeah. Goes off again. Oh yeah, more oxygen bottles. More pumps. It's big, isn't it? It's massive. Oh look, ladder. Ah. If anybody sees this sort of thing, that's where it goes. Pumps. Fire exit. Ooh, and a big door. Got fire exit. I don't believe it's going to be a proper fire exit. Huh? Oh, wow. I want to go. This is just like crazy. We've got little rooms like these. And that. Mm. And that. <laughs> and that. 
So you probably see like a body in one of these, because I'm not actually bothering to look. I'm just like walk past them. Ooh. Oh, this is nice about this. Oh, yeah. Bart's hospital security sit in the mortuary all the time. Oh, yeah. Batteries. So, emergency battery backups. Wow. I don't even know where we are now on the surface because it, it's like we must have come many uh, buildings across. We might have just got lucky as we often do and got into the magic entrance way to everything that's really hard to get to and is one way in, one way out. <laughs> we just got the magic way in. Got our stairs, stairs to the surface. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and this looks like a high quality room with air vents or refrigeration, possibly. It's got um, things on the floor, so it might be to do with those filing cabinets which move back and forth. They may have been on the floor. Ventus. Oh. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like all that, and it's just a big bloody fan inside there, really. <laughs> yeah, it's like those old things, uh, stereo systems you buy from Curry's or whatever, and you'd like you open it up and it's just empty. It's just like there's nothing in it. Yeah. You want to find them, yeah? Yes. Yeah, they'll be somewhere in that direction. So we go back into this main building and around. Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, that's vintage. Hey. Risk getting in there? Yeah. It's traction. Mad, mad bugger. Look, we just filmed his backside. And getting the in there. Traction. Imagine that. Whoa. So it doesn't treat you. He's recent right now, we're going to the top. It's <laughs> been ruined. Someone's ruined it. How dare they? Yeah. Would you like to take the lifts in our cemetery? Uh, pfft. Uh, no. No, I'm not a great fan of uh, scary lift journeys. So it, might go, it might go past the point where you can get it down or something and then you'd be stuck up there and not able to get out. But I'm sure if there's a guy who could work, it'll be you. Either you or the, or the fire service. <laughs> One or the other. So this is where we've been going underneath. This, which we've made our way without realising from the courtyard all the way into this big building on the end. So now we're in the big building. And this one goes up quite a way. This building is very high, if I remember correctly. And this looks like this fox has been in here, because fox shit is in here. Wow, the lifts. Yeah, they are old school, aren't they? Lots of, lots of, lots of, oh, look at this. Scanner, scanners, medical scanners. Look, tapes. Look at this. You don't see that every day. Wow. Oh, how made the whole picture it worthwhile. My God, you don't see that every day. So these are plates, very large plates. CT or MRI? I think it's, um, it might even be x-ray, mate, because these are x-ray plates, look. Oh, or is it? Way of it? I would refuse to be x-rayed using that method. It's use that far too much radiation. Yeah. It's a CT scanner. Yeah. But I think the interesting bits have been removed. Hang on. So some bits of it have gone, have they? So you know, you know, see how it's been kind of spirit there. Stuff like this when people need scanning and these things get on very quickly because of the amount of radiation they use. So this well, that's how it looks. This bit will spin somewhere in here, the spinning bit. So you have your X-ray tube one end and your uh, CBOS sent to the other end and it goes round. Yeah. Why don't you can get this off so we can have a look inside? It's fascinating. I haven't got a screwdriver, unfortunately. This one, there's no end lift. This end lifts up. So yeah, there's a head one that spins, and then there's this one which goes beneath your body, which just pulls back and forth. So there's a emitter and receiver, probably. Oh, that's, that's a different type of X-ray. Yeah, so they've got two. 
So you've got this one which will do your body, which can move up and down the body, and then there's that head one, which has probably got two of these, but mounted in there, which spins. So it's got two ways of scanning you. So it's got a regular X-ray machine and a CT scanner. So you've got two different X-ray machines in one. Now which side's the scanner? That's the scanner there, and at the bottom is the X-ray tube. Yeah. We have to get these open since they're here. Wow. I'll ask you how it works like that. Agfa. Agfa, made by Agfa Company. So, so much, much x ray you can set up, like fry, microwave, defrost. You get loads of uh, different options for cooking yourself here, courtesy of Agfa. And you see like different plates, different x-ray plates. So, oh, have you, have you seen the control panel? Uh, no. Ah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd be too old for these in one day. That's amazing, isn't it? Like drum rotation. Yeah, if you said wrong, because the person couldn't stand there and do that while a person gets x-rayed. Your face would get too much dose. Yeah. So that could be another control panel somewhere else. Oh, in that glass, it Yeah, and an emergency uh, stop button. Lead screen walls do not perforate. So there's lead inside these walls to keep the people doing it safe, which means it's in that room. It's all the electronics. Oh, there's another scanner here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, this one's got a television on it, so you can do live viewing. You can look at look at the scanned area live. Look at that. Wow. DSX Rectangular by uh, Sof Camera. Is this X again, or is this a different? God knows. Video? No idea. Then they they could be more modern, I suppose. They could be more MRI. But this this thing here has fallen down on the bed. So basically where your head would be in your body, that thing has just squashed it and crushed it now. Because that's the bed underneath. Oh, and here's the control thing for it. Oh, wow. Well. Look at this. Push the buttons. That. There's even a button that's got a rabbit on it. So that probably means fast, I expect. In the international language, rabbit means fast. <laughs> Whoa. It's a soft. Oh, look at that trackball. Feels like war games. Look, war games like a trackball, and it's totally and utterly stuck. But you can just move, move crap around the screen and put the key in it. Look, take it for a run, take it for a ride. Stop, start. Oh, look, five and a quarter floppies. It's amazing to think that you know, like they could run on just old, old things like that. But yeah. Yeah. That's what I've got. Yeah. They've got a laser on, so it would put a pattern on you. So you could line it up, put a laser on you, and sort of like line it up on part of you. Where's the leader? If that's the X-ray tube, where's the leader? Ah. Is that it there? No, it's just the. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too aware, yeah, to be honest. It's. Um, no idea. A little switch on the back, turn the telly on and off. In this bit, perhaps? It's crazy, isn't it? It's just like the MOD. It's like we've got so much money, we just walk away and just leave it all behind. Yeah. Who cares? I never thought we'd see all this. Oh my God! It just gets madder and madder and madder. Look, put your hands in. Operate. Operate crap. Put your hands in and do the vials of COVID-19. It's where COVID was created, you know. All started here, folks. Like, little button. Like, 
Take the photo. Take the photo. And take some photos, mate. Oh, here are the gloves, look. Here are the rubber gloves that go into these things. Rubber glove. So there's probably still some COVID left on these gloves, actually. There's still a little bit of COVID in there, look. COVID, COVID-19, Coca COVID-19. Yeah. Get all your kinks, courtesy of the uh, military. You large gloves on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Cold lab freezer. Cold lab freezer. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you don't smell of meat like most of them do. Oh. Ugh. Smells of freezer, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, a little decontamination shower in the room. Well, is this not for tropical diseases? Is it this section? Oh. I don't want to talk about it. This is a tropical disease. Um, yeah. Well, I can't imagine tropical diseases plus x-rays in the same place, but... Oh, some big old... Those would have been worth a bit of money in their time. I bet you that's like Sun Microsystems or something, because they look expensive. Oh, it's bloody spider webs. But they're sort of big monitors, big, big, big monitors. When you get them up, it says like Sun Microsystems, I bet you. No? Oh, hang on. Maybe they, they don't want the logo. I told you! Uh, yeah. I told you they didn't want the logo on there for some reason. Maybe they were Apple fans or something. They didn't want Sun Microsystems, probably because they had, like, TV crew in you know, filming, and they are like, but oh, we can't have logos. Not allowed. But this is where we are now, look. Near the gates. Wow. I mean, look at the size of the lights on the front of the building. I mean, you wouldn't get the NHS paying for bulbs like that. Cost a fortune to run those bloody things. It's like military. Money, no object. Ooh. Oh, another big scanner. Oh my god, this is a big it's a big bad boy as well, yeah. Two screens. Wow. Two screen scanner. This is like um, something out of a movie, isn't it? You know, sort of this is probably a cat scanner. Say, I thought I heard noises and his pigeons. Is the CT scan and the cat scan the same thing or different? I think it. You're just knocking stuff. I thought there was somebody coming in then. Can I compute, compute things here? Look for the. All the compute things like micro back, micro back, and interruptible power supply. But if this is um, if this is a CT scanner, they're going to be really careful about metal objects near it because they'll fly towards it. And that's an MRI. That's MRI, is it? Noisy pigeons. Well, they might have heard us. Maybe we're not alone. Maybe we're not alone. It's people. What's that noise? It sounds like people. Did you hear people talking? Be other people in here. Sorry. Yeah, this is wards, wards, operating theatres. I don't know if it was just weird sound that sounded like people, but it did sound like voices for a minute, didn't it? Well, they just had panic motion, so they didn't see us, so they had to hear something. 
Unless they're just banging into each other, just yeah, randomly. Yeah, yeah. It's just another way, they don't get so many flying to the is when they're panicking, so I've seen some of them. Hmm. So this is a ADAC Laboratories Open Optin Vantage VCAR PEG Ultra. So the question is, does this spin round? Because that looks like a too clunky thing to spin fast. So maybe that's like a pre-dating a CT scan, maybe it's like a old mm. version that takes slower. Yeah, it's like this this is out of the arc because this got um numbers like off a calculator that you know just do 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 six million dollar man type thing. Nixie tubes. <laughs> Me, that looks like it turns around, takes a picture, turns around a bit more, takes a picture, then turns around a bit more. Yeah. Which is a more primitive version than a CT scan, which just turns continuously. So that's yeah. like a basic version. Yeah. Okay, you wouldn't want it falling on you. Do you think these are the. Um, she's got detector one, detector two. So you have to put these in. Are they masks? They might just be masks, like round, square. They might be to protect the rest of the passage as well. Yeah, some of these are it's like cartridges, you know, and it gets lifted out and put into place. Just fire it up, have a go. Well, this looks like a computer. You can open this up, it's got a key look. Ah, it's like 286 architecture. Here's a 286, it's got old, old memory sticks. Input output card, 286. Now that's what I call a case. Yes. Because it's a lot bigger than it needs to be. There is no need for that size. No. That is just like, they're paying lots of money, let's make it look good. Like I said, curries, it's just empty. Most of it's empty. See some operating theatres then. It's the uh, air, air things. Oh, yeah, part of an operating theatre. Oh, yes. So these would have been probably resuscitation or you know when you've when you've done your operations bring them straight back in somewhere like this but this is a bit of quality getting to see this I don't think the security would be very happy to know we're in here, which makes me very happy. I am now over the moon with security stress. Oh, I know what I forgot to do is put my bloody torch on my head. It'd help, wouldn't it? I don't know, they're not going to know we're in here, surely. Unless they start seeing our torch lights or something. Lift in that bit, look. I suppose we go down somewhere, we're going to come into the uh, operating theatres. Why have they blocked this area like this then? Blocking that you don't go in there. That's just one floor, by the way, folks. That's one floor. And we had CT scanners and all sorts of crap in there. Oh, yeah. Big old lifts. Big old lifts. Now, these are for... These are current, probably, for the people who are working here. You push that if there's a fire. I'll get the security over here quickly. Notice. 
cafe. They're upstairs. Where's that? Upstairs. The oh, you want to go upstairs? Yeah, I'm just looking out because we've it's all along there. Just to work out where this where we are, basically. Oh yeah. It goes all the way down there. It's massive, massive, massive place. And we're really lucky because there's no security in no alarms. That we know of. So we've got the um, we've got half uh, half circle keys for those uh, lifts. Uh, I get the feeling you might be coming back here. Yeah? <laughs> Interesting. Door release. Unless they, do you think they are hydraulic ones? These. Keep looking around, we'll find the uh, stairs to the lift room area. Because it looked like there was um, glass on top of the building. So this has got like glass bits looking down. So we, probably will, we will find a way up there eventually. That's all the works area. Generator room and, and power block down there. So that's a generator. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no. No, I talk to him. I just go like, "Yeah, what do you want?" They'd be like, "Get out, get out," and he'd be like, "Yeah, all right, then, yeah, whatever." Yeah, I'm having the phone, phone, police and stuff. Oh, you can give a shit. I'd rather speak to the police than them. Oh, yeah. I mean, the security are just idiots a lot of the time. I mean, I, there are some I've spoken to, and you know, I know some of them, and they they're okay, but you know, generally, your average security guard is not employed for. Uh, brains and they get very they get very bored and then bored people will usually end up causing trouble for fun because they that's what they do get their kicks by causing shit oh you can see all the way across there yeah wow it's like backing onto a sports field and uh all these outer buildings just look like storage and nothing too exciting. But you can see the Spinnaker over there, Spinnaker Tower. Might be back open now, that. You can go up there. It's a proper hospital. It's definitely a proper hospital. <laughs> I haven't seen no operating theatres though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, this is a very good quality hospital wing actually. I mean, not like the other bits we've been in earlier on. This is very modern, very respectable. It actually smells like a hospital. I wouldn't feel like you were getting bad treatment if I came to a place like this. But some of those other ones we went to, I mean, God, they're Victorian. They've been left, left to rot. There's a bit of a kitchen. Hmm. What's that, a coffee machine? Or something. Do you have a power bank? Uh, in the car, okay. or on me? Uh, well, some... Point. This is the one last like another half hour. Yeah, yeah. What uh, type of connector has it got? Uh, USB C. 
this is C, so you can you can plug into this for a bit if you want. And we'll alternate. Ward admissions. Ward admissions suite. Derelict UK. Hmm. <laughs> Hang on. Seek ret. Vault. Secret vault. Yeah. Medical physics, which usually means x rays and stuff like that. Medical physics. Ooh, smells. This is normally what they mean by uh, x rays and bits and pieces, but this could be the end of a building. Oh, this is, this is interesting, look. Oh, this is where the pigeons are. This is probably where the upstairs bit is that you want. Remember I said there was a glass bit? This is probably the glass bit. Yeah. So this is where... It's weird, they've got like, um, things to stop you going in the wards, but then you just walk around and get in. Yeah. Washroom, no entry. Hello, Pidge. Hello, Pidge. Pidge, 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 Pidge. Wow. Oh, yeah, you can get up to the roof here, mate. Oh, dear. That was not, not a good thing. Yeah. He still thinks he's going to see somebody out here now. <laughs> cool. I wonder if this is the lift thing. A bit weird. So you can walk all the way along. It's nuts. Well, you can get through here. Get through from this bit to the other other end. That's good. This building is fascinating. I've got to be honest. I'm really enjoying this. Yes, I'm too. It's not often the first one. So I think it's really small. Yeah, you think you're like. Let me get to this. Yeah, it just keeps going. Bigger, more exciting, more electrics. Hmm. Oh, I wonder whether, oh, it's water, potable water. It's, they're taking the tanks out. How the hell do they take those out then? Uh, with difficulty. Hmm. Oh, it's warm, isn't it? The sun's been on the roof. I feel it radiating back off. And that is the back of the roof of the building. Unless you want to get up on top. No idea where it is. Not yet, no. But then we haven't gone further over to the other side. We've only gone we've only gone on this bit. View. What a view. What a view. This is probably one of the best bloody views in town, realistically. You've got the the fair, fairground. You've got Isle of White line there, look, the old uh, boats. And uh, you've got the spit forts out there. We'll be coming for you soon. We're going to come and get you. Spit forts. Yeah, and then you've got the view all the way around. Oh, there's a very large clock tower over there. A very large tower. Oh my God. And this building here gets more interesting because it goes up another level and it's got another roof. Can you, can you see how this building 
what, what we're in now is just the boring bit. It gets, it goes up again and becomes more. But over there, look at that. That's a water tower or something, I think. It's a water tower in the distance, but that is super high. And right at the top are little windows to look out of. That's going to be the biz. Pointing at my feet, you're right. Let me get some photos of the towers here. I think we could probably work our way up via the roofs if we if we're careful. I think anyone who got down to have a look at this right now, this is the magic time. You know, security doesn't seem that interested. Uh, it's too big for them to really keep control over. You get in one, one area and you, you know, they're never gonna know you're there. Oh yeah, ladder, that sounds good. I'll have some of that. Okay. Yeah, before we go up. Before we go up. Try and remember not to forget bits then, yeah. There's over here, is the, what's this then? Washroom. Washroom, it's bizarre. Ooh, meal washer number one. This is an industrial washing machine. Cycle failure. Goodness. Yeah, I'm just walking around. This place is just, it's just mad. Transfer barrier, so you, you pass things through from here into there and they get washed. It's like a secure window to transfer stuff through, so secure washing. Oh, look at that. That's like a little inner, inner lit, Oh, I'll go a bit, sorry. You're right. Staff room. Yeah, shit and everything, you know? It's like, yeah, this looks like a fucking virus situation. Yeah, that stinks. God, people's asses have just rotted. Look, people's, people's bum, bum flakes have created cancer. And it's now gone portable. Disgusting. It's gone portable. <laughs> it's airborne. Ooh, that was pretty rank. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone full wireless. All that virus. This is interesting now. It's almost like you, if you can open these things, you can get in there. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Door open sensors. Oh yeah. And there's a lift um lift here, but there's also a ladder to get upstairs. So and there's the lift shaft. That's the door PIR. That's the biggest biggest PIR I've ever seen. They used to have them like this above garages and things, didn't they? When you used to go into garages, they used to have like a little thing like that pointing down. And they do above, um, they do have large ones like that above uh, 
street traffic lights uh, not street traffic lights traffic lights you know this no, yeah oh there's another there's another ladder over there as well so it might be separate ladders for separate lift shafts Le Pige. Uh, that's not a thing. Mm. Uh, in fact, it's not going the motor. No motor in there at all. Is it nothing? What are we talking about? Nothing. This is a bit Mm. Well, it's just a wheel. Okay. Yeah, go on. Eh? I'll cut another look. It's quite tall rooms here as well at the top of the building. Strange sort of sat out here. Mm. Oh, there's even stairs over there. Going up, yeah. Strange designs on the edge of the buildings, yeah. I've got a feeling that may not go very far. Right. Oh, look, there's a little stairs and it goes to this weird. How bizarre is this? Look at the design of this, like, you know, around the edge and a little, little thing that comes out of here. Royal Hospital Haslar, 2006. It hasn't, been, it hasn't been out of action this long, this place. I think I heard it was 2009. So we can get on the roof up here as well. This thing is at all safe. Spiderwares, spider, spiders, spiderwares. Oh yeah, good to see you. Nice to see you. Just think if you ever worked here, you never came up this bit, did you? <laughs> you can see all the way into the bay, all the docks. Amazing. And this is a little, little pigeon proof. Oh, yes. Pigeon proof thing. Pigeon proof ladder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there we are. Look, you've got the spinnaker and the uh, marina. Looking right down into the pigeon net. I wonder if we could do a bungee onto that. <laughs> Get down on there. Ooh, sounds a bit dodgy. Did you hear that noise? Oh look, that's submarine it says. Look, submarine. Submarine. Because uh, somewhere around here there's a submarine uh, museum. Yeah. And it says on the back there, something, something Royal Navy submarine. So I wonder if that's something to do with the museum. Because somewhere by here... Oh, there it is, look. There's a submarine. Oh, what am I pointing at? There we are, look. There is a submarine. 
Yeah, whenever we do a boat, we should have a drive round there and just have a look. Yeah, so we've got lots of stuff. See if we can get in without paying. <laughs> Requirement, I think. Yeah, I tried to get up on HMS Belfast without paying on my boat, but yeah, there's coronavirus on this, not enough people about to get away a bit. You're too nasty. Well, so yeah, sometimes you can you can sneak in there because I've been on it. Sneak on it, yeah. Well, my, well, there, there was a time when uh, it was being hired out by Sea Shepherd, who my uh, t shirt is. And they had it for a party, and we got up right on the outside of it as well, and we climbed up into the upper bits, like all the rigging and shit. Oh wow! So uh, that's worth a look. I really would like to get in up there. Up, yeah. I want to get right where those windows are at the top. I want to look out those windows. That would be cool. But I bet you that's tightly locked up. I bet you that's. I don't know. I don't think so. I saw some keys, some other explorer found the keys here and it unlocked everything. Mmm. But that over there, folks, is the Isle of Wight. So this water here is the um, channel between. So, it's a pretty mad, pretty mad building. So what do you reckon then? Get back along the top floor and around to that corner? Yeah, let me see that miss out on those lift lifts. Yeah, well they're in the basement, aren't they, those lifts? Yeah. Yeah. Some hydraulic lift somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. We'll see eventually. Yeah. I've got a security Yeah. Going around and have a look at this little thing and see what it is. Steps that go up. This is the weirdest room in the building. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Do, do, do. Spate of money and valuables and handbag thefts. It is a toilet. What a strange place to have a toilet. It looks like it's private toilets because it's where you've got people's uh, people's valuables. Oh. Such a nice on a crack camera. <laughs> Camera in one of those um, Osmo things. Oh, like secret passage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bloody hell. That's almost like that that thing we went down before. Hmm. Equipment room. Equipment. Reverse osmosis units. You can get to the other end of the building with this. Do you want to yeah. do it? Yeah. Nice and warm up here. These um, boards aren't very straight. They're up and down. Wibbly wobbly. Solid, but just not placed very straight. Oh look, my, oh look, somebody's been buggering about, look. Micro smoke, which can mean only one thing. Herblex is having fun. Yeah. So is it Bearded Explorer or Taser I saw coming up in this place? And uh, it's amazing. Now, it's interesting. Is that concrete? Yes, concrete. Asbestos? Probably. Yeah. Did you know where asbestos comes from? Uh, Australia, am I? 
Ukraine, is it? Russia. Russia. And the place. Oh, I've seen this. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, my God. Look at that. Steve Ronin, you need to be here. That is a staircase. And that is a lift mechanism. It is. <laughs> and that is a grill above the mad space. I've got to take some photos of this. It's really cool. Wow. That's scary. That's, that's making me shit myself looking down there. Oh, wow. I suppose it's uh, required that we walk down the stairs then. Oh, roof space. Ooh, that's interesting. It's all like mangled and off, look. And you can just go straight out. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Bloody hell. Bit of a beast. Bit of a beast. web on my neck. Ugh. Not not nice. Alright. Would it be alright if I went in front of you? Because uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to avoid filming you. That's brilliant. I, I don't like this, this kind of spooks me. This scary sort of like vertigo effect. Alright. So I'm gonna try and I'm not looking. It's not nice. And it's weird because it's this odd shape. So you do get to see a lot of it. When you come around here, you get to see more than you really want to. Oh, oh don't like these drops. Do my nut. Oh, surgical offices. Do we want to do any places before we go? Yeah, cobwebs. Oh, the floor's up and down. Ooh, Christopher Columbus, look at the floors. The floors. Oh, this looks interesting. Why are they all bubbled up here? Wow. Views are really good here as well, like you know, for a hospital. Right, that's the admin courtyard. Hmm. Well, here's a question for you. Do you want to go and see some real life big and get inside them hovercrafts? Really? Yeah. On the boat? There's a hovercraft museum, and Fox. no, it's, it's closed. Oh, really? Yeah. So if we get in, we'll be getting inside the hovercraft. The doors are open on the back, so you just walk straight into the back of them. Oh, that would be good. We'll yeah. see fox. Where's the fox? Yeah, fox up here. I'm surprised it came up so high. And no, it's, it's closed. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't see him, because I, I heard you say fox. I can see it's poop on the floor, but I didn't see it, so it's probably on film. Yeah. Oh, there's a fox on. So if we go down a floor, walk back and walk down in the spirals and we just do each floor like that, is it? Okay. That way we get to see the maximum amount of stuff. How's your charge doing? Um, 30%. Okay. Wow. Look at this. It's like a little oh, air, airy floor, but it's all, they've boarded it off so people won't go in. Ooh. Weird. I've never been in an abandoned hospital that's this intact. Since the first for me. Seeing one that's this good.
Ooh, floors up and down again. Seems like it's in that spot, it must be a dripper or something. Ah, here's the uh, spirals. The inspiring spirals. Otis. Oh, that's you, Hurst. Ah. That is long drop. Do you want to take a uh, coat hanger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't got a coat hanger, but if you can no. find one. What did I just find on the floor? He has just found. A coat hanger? A coat, what the fuck? Hanger. <laughs> no way. God. I'm not sure it's on the screen. I think the shape's wrong in there. No, I don't like that shape. Try to get a better shape. Is this all done now, or do you get this coincidence? There you go, folks. Just gonna try and get in with a piece of coat hanger like you see in the movies, right? Yeah, no. No, not, not enough strength, I've got it. Do you think it's bending? Yeah, no, that's not strong enough. You do two up. two parts. I was gonna say, yeah. But it's still gonna bend when you put it in, though, though, isn't it? You'd be better off doing it halfway down. But okay. Well, he knows what he's doing. Is that that bit you're feeding through will still bend now? Yeah. That sounded positive. Yes! That sounded oh. positive. It's here. It was in decision, but I've only free filled it, so it's not in decision anymore. <laughs> oh, I can't get it back to you now. Down into the basement. Basement area, and you can see it springs on the bottom. Look. Springs down there. The moral of the story is, if you don't have a drop key, you have a coat hanger. Yeah. Cheap, cheap man's drop key. That's what I would use. In fact, there's loads of pieces of wire there. It's like somebody's brought them over yeah. and been playing around. Oh. Oh, you want to go up a floor, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Going up the scary series. Again, scare stairs. It's a clockwise turn for that one, wasn't it, to open it? There he goes. Yep. Wow, just found an indoor upstairs gymnasium. Or is it on the ground floor? No, it's actually ground floor, so yeah, those stairs go to underground. But, uh, mm, indoor gymnasium. So you should find the bits to be able to build up that climbing frame there. Cardiac rehab. Oh, 
hydro pool. Could be a pool. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, this one. Wow. It's swimming time. You want to swim? I'll get the, I'll get the uh, hose out now and fill it up for you if you want. What's that? I'll fill it up for you now and get the hose out and fill it up. <laughs> See, they haven't even got things like this for like um, dogs, you know, when they get ill. They've got things like little tiny pools. And look at the size on this. It's just like immense. Mmm. I just wonder if there's anything that this place doesn't have. I'm starting, to get, I'm starting to get bored of all the things it does have. I want to know, I want to find things it doesn't have. That would be more fun. Oh, it's a Jimmy Savile, Jimmy Savile stimulation unit. For uh, when you're feeling a bit bored. So Jimmy Savile, um, fun unit, look, vibrates. Quick, quickly, just get it in there. Jimmy Savile's things. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Mr. Ben who has known my Jimmy Savile uh, routine, Jimmy Savile jokes. Wow, this looks like it's out. Can't open. Oh, it's an automatic. Oh, it's it's locked. <laughs> Trapped in here now. That's it. Can't get out, folks. Yeah, but I think we're gonna have to go into the basement yeah. and out through the those things over there again to get up and out. You know. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yes. Can we check out the motions just in case it's caught there? Got a mission now to find the uh, the lift. Not quite. No, it's a bit of a dead end, isn't it? No. Keep going? No. I think we're going to have to do it from the We've literally just come out to the main hospital wing and we've ended up in here. Now what is this? Look at these uh, alcoves. I mean, is this for people to just hang around or is this for like bring your horses in to keep them out of the rain or, you know, it's like drive a hearse in or something. Ah. <laughs> Mortuary. Yes, yes. I mean, these are tracks here. I mean, tracks that go in the ground all the way out through that door. So what sort of track equipment would they be needing? And all that goes to the roof, and it looks like it's set to actually just fall in on us, which is pretty dodgy. This is a this is a really old lift then. Really old lift shaft design designed into the building when it was an early early building. Winding. It's got wood. Look at the lift tracks that got wood on them. What date is this? This is old. This is after the 1930s. This is like 1900 or something. God. This is extremely old. That's not original to the building. So they... Yeah. Why you notice AC motor? Oh no, there's no date. There's no date on it. 
And look at those little um, metal things there that are hung on the wires. Those are sort of the brake connectors, is it? So they're little reed relays on the other side. Can you see they're all hanging? Hanging down. So they would break the relays as they come down, so they would know it's like one higher, lower. So it's like brakes. Can you see to the left of the metal pole? Where you said the wood is, yeah? Yeah. See all those wires hanging down? Yeah. And then they've got marks on them, like little oh, yeah, pieces of metal. That's, that's not anything special. All oh, right, that's a sensor, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a modern day. Uh, not that modern, because it's from 1980 when it got modded. Right. Uh, it's a, not like. So that's your lift. Ka ching, Mr. Lift. Do you hear that? Loud and they're like they're smacking around. Like they're trying to escape someone. Mmm. That was bizarre. I've never seen anything like that. So that's a way in and way out. Would this be a mortuary? Because it's kind of made up to be a bit more sort of church-like. Makes you wonder, could open these doors. Could be an easy way for us to get out. thing on it but could we get this slide this through I don't know well yeah we've got to get out somewhere we're gonna go out through the basement yeah okay let's do it or as this gentleman says on his channel and I've heard him say many times let's go <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good impression? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, we can get out through this window, maybe, or through that door. Yeah, I think it'd be a bit hard getting out through there, but at least it's quite direct. And then we can just get straight across there. I think this is a way out, look. Right. right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I think we can I think we can probably get across. No, I don't wanna go. Oh, no. Still don't wanna go. Bastard. Right. <laughs> Even easier. We have to close this behind us and we can remember it's open then. Yeah. Let's just make sure before we get out there that it looks like there's nobody out there already. Let's have a good old scan. Bloody big buildings. Huh? I reckon just go for it, yeah? yeah. Let's go. Look at all this building. It's 
building is the gift that keeps on giving. There we go. We might find it goes all the way to that building. We've got to get back inside and find a way around inside. Yeah. Now, yeah, underneath all of this, see the metal, um, the metal bars sticking up. So I think there would have been a building on top of it. it's been knocked down. Yeah. Well, physiotherapy and gymnasium. Oh, sorry, right. So we were inside there a, a minute ago. Hopefully this building doesn't connect up. But we also know we can get into the basement and pop up in these buildings as well. Ah, oh, that's that um, thing. That, that's why they locked it, it's because it drops off the edge in case anyone gets through it at night. But when it gets through into this building, oh, there we are. Look, there's a door into that side building there. I don't know, it's not a, not such, such a clock tower, there's um, possible security over there, look. I think that could be the back of their, um, back of their little building. We'll be careful, because we're quite close to where they are. But we haven't been caught yet. Ow! Bastard. Bastards. They have not found us yet. Oops. I don't know what this is. Just a little cupboard. Gotta find a way into this building now. Is that is is the um, the big thing on this building? I'm not even sure if it is. That big tower. Yeah, there is a doorway in on the other building, but I don't know if it comes back to the left, which is into this building. That was weird. That sounded close, didn't it? Yeah. Probably like somebody inside the complex checking out where we are. What you reckon about this? Look, there's that. Do you reckon that goes down? Yeah. I think it pulls too. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nothing in there. Oh. 
What if we can get in the front of this building and get up and across? Oh, look, down into the basement. Come on, baby, let us in. Let us in, baby. Let us in. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. It's been, there's a big piece of wood behind it. Yeah. What about, can we check these bits? Well, yeah, we can get underground and get back in, I suppose, but it's worth just checking. It's going to be anywhere easier. Well, hey. Oh, it's just a toilet. Oh. False alarm. <laughs> Yeah, why have they put a um, thing here to stop people getting in this bit? This must be because it's interesting. Must be because there's something there. Coming in. Bloody um, subterfuge. So we're still no, no closer to getting in there. Hey, is a fox. Foxy fox. Foxy fox. Yeah. We went down there. Yeah. We've got this way now. Huh. Cardiac rehabilitation, we're inside it. Oh no, hang on, cardiac rehabilitation is inside the gym area, isn't it? This is the gym, I think. <sighs> yeah, we're still on the wrong... We're still in the wrong bit, we need to be over there. So, we're still screwed, so I'm going to turn off the camera for a bit. I'm into a lab now, and they've got a uh, vent cupboard for the chemicals in there. And they've got lots of sample bottles for testing, testing samples. God, these look like they've been used. Look, they've got gummy globs in them. It's a blob. Blob. No anticoagulant. So that's blood. Because that's co no anticoagulant. That's somebody's blood. I wouldn't just leave blood samples here. That is blood, mate. It's, look, it's got no anticoagulant because normally they put um, heparin in there or something like that. Look, all of these. So much oh. blood is in there. So do I have to dilute the blood with other chemicals? Oh, look, some of these have got globs in. Look, look at that. So that's blood and they've diluted it or so. That's blood that's been allowed to congeal. So how is this not being put? <laughs> look at this. It's like bloody... Biohazard. 
It's like bloody Dracula's castle in here, isn't it? It's all the different types of, you know, this is 1979 vintage. Blood. This is, um, blood, uh, wolf blood. Yeah. Cat blood. Yeah. Baby blood. And then you got this machine. Whatever this is. This looks like a, it's a bath of some description. Is that a bath? These are uh, rollers. I done an automated machine, but does it, or do you, is this too old for that? I don't know. That lid comes that down. Scanner, scans it. Lid comes down. And it's got a floppy disk in here. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, look, more scummy blood. And bits of... Ugh. How come there's all people's samples in here? Protocol for C14 urea test. Isn't urea like urine? urine? Stuff from your urine. All these things. Millipore. Millipores. Well, some some tests are fairly simple. You know, like you you get somebody's blood and you dip you dip a thing in it and it tells you if there's blood cells in pee and things like that. So they're not they're not very complicated tests. Yeah, tests. Hmm. God knows. It's not a very complicated but look urbex urbex camo 18 dl urbarix and panadorm ltv yeah probably this looks like a white dragon's laboratory just to get out of contact mm. oh wow beta and gamma counter equipment Beta and gamma, that's not the radiation. Is that the blood for your Yeah, Packard, a Packard bioscience company. Cobra 2 Auto Gamma. Beta and gamma counter. I don't know, is there something to do with blood? Has beta and gamma? No, that sounds like radiation, it's beta and gamma. Yeah. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, Mr. That's, Obvious. I think that's bad that he's got someone's name as a cunt, as. Mm. Okay. No, I, I, I don't agree with that sort of shit, to be honest myself. Ugh. This is weird, but creepy. Mm. HP levels as a guide. HP levels as a guide. Fetal well-being during pregnancy. Yeah. Probably many of them around, it's not the only one. A hand of death slashed it on a glass in a window. Another, la another lab? Another lab? Some in. Is it? It's sitting up here on doing stuff. Lots of floppy disks. Tape drive, look. Oh, wow. it's <laughs> probably, probably got medical information belonging to the NHS on that. How many gigabytes is that? It's probably a 50 gig or something like that. Or 600A, which could mean 600 megs, but it could be 600 gigs. I doubt it's gigs. They call it like 600, which probably means it's a 60. Hmm. Yeah. Got a real tape there. Yeah. 
Feels like they have to be that now. Yeah, but contamination monitor. Contamination. Beta and the Y, I think that's gamma. This is by far the most interesting room here. It's quite a fun piece of equipment. Get me, you get me on there and uh, give me a scan, see what my, see if I've got any brain cells or anything. If this moves side to side as well. What's your idea is that? You can see what's inside it. Now this thing here says caution radioactive material. Uh, this glass, it says caution radioactive material. So that's radioactive. Well, they're not being very nice to right now. Well, why has it got that written all over it? Caution radioactive material. It's probably in the glass. It's probably that glass. That could be that stuff. What's it? Um, oh, ra not ra radium. It's um, plutonium glass. Because it looks that colour. But well, why? Probably, being like a second, right? well, probably only if you're close to it, because they, they don't give off for, for a great distance. Well, that's made, that's, that's put me on. And you, yeah, you're only going to get it for a short amount of time. You'd have to have, to have it be on it for like a week or so, probably, to get a nasty effect off it. So we might get back out into that um, courtyard. I think we've pretty much done it now though. Do you want to head out? Yeah. Way out. Aha. Uh -huh. Back into the courtyard. Oh, these foxes love marking their territory. There's poo everywhere, like, you know, scattered. We're just going to do the mad dash for out then. And that is it. So oh. that way, innit? Oh, we didn't get that bit, did we? What's that? That building. Yeah, I think we went down and around. Okay. Yeah. So no tower, sadly, but uh, there he is. Over there, the tower, but it's not going to happen. Not today. Maybe at night if we can sneak in under the security guards' noses.